You know, I bought this beanie because I thought it would be funny. You've come so far. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. And today we are breaking down all the money that I spent over the last two months. I've been saving some receipts up for this and I really wanted to make myself confront how much I've been spending because I definitely do a lot of mindless spending with makeup and I never buy makeup that I can't afford to buy. So if I don't have that money on me, I won't buy it. But by buying it, it does uh, sometimes hinder me saving. But I will, buy, I will buy things as an emotional response. And I will buy more things if I'm upset than if I'm not. And this has worked for me in the past with quitting smoking. To make myself actually sit down and go, Pru, you need to be more aware of your money. And you need to start taking shit seriously. And that's what this video is about. I hope it's helpful to you. It was kind of eye-opening for me. Today, well this isn't a video I want to film at all. But I did this to myself. I saved all the receipts from all the makeup I've bought recently. And today I'm going to make myself confront how much money I've spent. So I've got a little booklet down here. You can kind of, this works. Welcome to a different angle. I realise this desk is quite messy, but it, it's on my... I will clean it. So I've saved all these receipts to make myself... Well, you know, it started out as like a fun video idea, maybe, to make myself think about how much money I've spent. And I kept saving them because I didn't want to confront it. It's not that I can't afford to buy the makeup that I do have that sometimes I feel like I'm a bit wasteful in the way that I approach purchasing makeup and I wish I could be a bit more mindful and that is the goal of this video. Let's find out how far these go back. I guess I need to date organize them don't I? Organizing the dates makes me not want to do this. So I'm just going to write down how much I spent each time. So I went to Priceline once What on earth did I buy that was nature's own? What? Is this even my... Oh! I bought some bloody magnesium. It's $27. I bought this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I spent 20 bucks on makeup this day. This was just yesterday, which is the 25th of October. And I bought the uh, NYX Vivid Bright Liner and the NYX base in white. Damn that was $13. I thought that was not special. This is from Sephora. I'm just gonna put that in. And I spent $98. This was today. This, these are in a haul. So I'm just, you know, if you want to watch a haul, this is me making myself feel bad. If you want to see what the products are, I never talk about how much the products cost me because I don't like to. I'll mention like the single price of a product because like, I find that interesting but I don't like to I don't like to be like I spent this amount this day I just bought shower gel <laughs> from Mecca I bought that like I love it the Soul Degenerate De shower cream gel and that was just recently 24th I just I'd run out so I needed more oh this was a big purchase what did I buy for 135? Oh, I know this one. I went into the store to see the new Fenty release. All I was planning on buying was the Diamond Bomb Veil highlighter, which I still love. I ended up buying a dry bar oil oil for my hair that cost 50 bucks, and I did get the gloss. For 30 bucks. Well, this was just today. This is from today's haul and Mecca. This was uh, Urban Decay pencil and some hand cream. Oh, 
met her again. Oh, this is when I went to the Stiller event. I ended up spending $53 of my own money. Oh, plus I had spent the 50 at the Mecca, oh, the Stiller event. Yeah, I'm just gonna include that because I feel like it wasn't that far apart. And that was the 15th of the 9th. And what did I buy? I don't even know if I put them in. Oh, I bought the smudge proof base for NARS this day. The stay all day lip, this thing. And some, the Stiller, glitter liquid in blue from Inglot I just bought one eyeshadow that's strange usually when I go in there I buy heaps what number is it 494 oh I remember this day I was doing a purple look in the afternoon and I needed a dark purple so I went and bought a dark purple from Inglot this one here Inglot again and this time I spent $42 oh that was the same day oh I bought two eyeliners because I wanted one was on special and I wanted a specific color for some reason this lovely blue one was on down to $12 and then I I paid full price for this this is just like a real gold I've used it oh that's so bad I don't even remember the, the eye look this is from whoa that's bad pretty I rolled these up this one is from Sephora. I spent $48. This is during the sale. Oh, I lie. I spent $44. I saved $4 because it was 20% off. Oh, no, I lie. I saved $12. I spent $48. What was I even buying this day? The Kat Von D metal crush eyes eyeshadows they were $30 each and I bought them I got thunderstruck and I got a really nice green one I bought them because they're the old formula and not this new formula all right well, this battery is dying so might mean I get a break that completely dies apparently I haven't charged my backup battery so from Mecca I spent $80 Oh, I bought the Veil Setting Powder Mini, Hangover Primer Mini. Oh, and this. I love this lip. I still love this. I wore this like the other day. I need to go buy more of them. I wish... I wish brands would send me full collections of shit. I'd love to just have... Well, I'd, I really want the entire Too Faced 20 year collection lips. They are beautiful. I love a good old glitter lip moment. So from Priceline, I bought the NYX liquid liner in white. I want some false lashes I've never worn. 28 bucks. They are Aldell's though. I should really try them. From Sephora on this day, I spent 105. And this was on the 13th of September. I believe it is, what is it, my Da Vinci lipstick, oh that Fenty Beauty Kabuki brush, Sephora, oh some tweezers, oh and my favourite, my Sephora uh, eye cleanser, alright, this is the list so far. I've got some online purchases as well. I'm just gonna go look them up and I'll be back in a minute. So I was going through my online purchases and I found some more receipts because I realized that some were missing. So let's add them. All right, let's go through these. So for it, I bought the Da Vinci lipstick because I wanted to treat myself 
and I also bought it with the special case which I do love not realizing the case was extra money that cost me $64 during the sale I went to Sephora and got my makeup done the other day I spent $49 buying loose glitter and lashes I don't even know what this is that I bought but it was $52 from Sephora it's listed as Sephora oh Sephora favorite superstar yeah that was a wicked purchase I was super excited to buy these the favorites kit because it's such a fun I'm so glad that Australia's finally got its own kind of favorites from Sephora and I really wanted to support that and I love you know I've got yeah it, it had a really cool set from Mecca a while back I went and I bought for $24 the Bare Minerals Cream Eyeshadow when it had just come out because I was planning on actually using it and um, I didn't. I think I have. I'm not sure to be honest. From Sephora I picked up my Chrome Paint in Frosé. I love that. That cost me $32. Oh. It was finally in stock and I'd been waiting for it for ages, so I was really excited to see it was there. I went into MAC and I bought a Powder Kiss lipstick, which is amazing. $36. I bought them, I think, just as they'd come out as well. From Inglot, I spent $68. And this was on some eyeshadows and a new flexi palette. One, six, one, two, three, four, five. Was it these ones? Yeah, two, eight, three. Oh yeah, this is when I bought the first alliteration. The first mix of this and I've now changed it. So there's another purchase after this one. Um, all right, I'm gonna go back to my online purchases and keep adding them in. I'll be back. But this is where we're at now. All right, I think I found everything. It was pretty much only three more items. And I've just gone through all my bank statements and everything to see what else there might be. So, do you wanna see me add them up? Why not? I'll do a handy old screen recordy. All right. I just saw that number. I'm going to add in how much the shipping for my US was. What this is, is the last two months uh, from the beginning of September, my purchases. Some of the purchases I think I found online 
after I talked to you. So from Target, I bought five of the Vivid Light liners that were on special. I got them for 30 bucks each. And I went to Chemist Warehouse and I bought this palette. I know I bought some other stuff, but I forgot what it is. So I just have included that as $43. I think the palette was 20 bucks. I've bought, I've spent 150 bucks with Enchanted Lustre or nearly 160. So they're an indie brand. I bought from them on the 3rd of October and that was $44. I got the shadows, I think three or four weeks later. I really liked them. So I reordered again on the 19th of October. Well, actually, they didn't take too long. It took like two weeks. And then the day after I ordered, she released her grab bags and they looked super fun. So I bought them. So that was $105. I feel like everything else I sort of had a receipt for. Anyway, so I get paid fortnightly. So I've had four pays that have been this amount. So I'm wondering how much I, how much per pay. I just worked out how many days this is over and it's over 56 days, which means I have been spending about $27 a day on makeup. Uh, that's a lot of money. I do take home a decent amount and I have been very stressed lately. This is a much higher spend than normal, which is sort of why I wanted to make myself do this. And yeah, shit. That's a crazy amount of money to be spending. I kind of can't believe it. I knew it was going to be bad. And when it sort of got to $1,500 or 1300, when it got over a thousand, I was like, oh, okay. I can see that. But it just kept rising. So for me at the moment, I feel like I've done some uncontrollable spending lately and I need to rein it in which is the whole reason that I force myself to do this this might be something that helps you and if it does I really hope it does oh, it's really easy to spend money on makeup without even thinking really so the amount that I spent hasn't specifically negatively affected my life at all if anything I love I love my makeup it makes me happy all round the problem is looking at all the purchases I've made, hello Marceline, all the purchases that I've made, quite a few of them I'd say were impulse purchases and I feel like I really want to be a bit more mindful with how I approach my makeup in the future. And for me, this has worked in the past to make myself reevaluate how much I'm actually spending on something. And you know, I've got to spend time and enjoy the, the products that I do have. I've got a lot. So I'm looking forward to doing some shop my stash eyeshadows and just seeing what kind of stuff I can come up from what I already have and own. And I need to stop buying stuff. I do have the new Morphe Social Butterfly palette coming. That is included in this amount there. And... The Enchanted Lustre stuff, I don't believe it's shipped yet, so I'm still waiting for that. So I've still got some deliveries to come and enjoy. I feel like I definitely at least need to start budgeting the amount that I'm spending on makeup. And I need to bring it down. And it's not because... Look, there is an aspect of this that's not sustainable. It means that I'm not saving as much money as I could be. I'm not being wise with my money. And I need to start being a bit wiser. I wish I could just spend without thinking, but I can't and I've got to be realistic with that. I feel like I really need to set a budget for myself and stick to it. And I like, I used to think that $200 a month was a lot. So I don't know where it got to this crazy level. That's $750. The My US was semi unavoidable because it was shipping. And 
I think it came out, it was nearly automatic that it came out. And I, I originally thought it was only going to be 80 bucks and then it was 120 bucks. But that's still, despite that, it's a huge expense that I've been doing. And I definitely stress by makeup. And my stress levels have been really high and I really just want to get on a great track. I want to be living my best life and I don't want to be feeling bad about stuff like this. And at the moment I feel bad about how much money I'm spending and I need to stop that. And I want to enjoy the process. So I'd absolutely love it if you have any tips on being more mindful or like how do you approach buying makeup? Yeah, I'd absolutely love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting. <laughs> it definitely was something that I needed to do for myself.